Hi, I'm Charles Gubscher with ABB representing the Dodge brand of mechanical power transmission products. I'm coming to you live from the Ag One Trade Show in Indianapolis, Indiana. I'm here today to talk to you about our new feature enhanced belt guard for our Torque Arm 2 product of shaft mount reducers. Most of our gearboxes go in in the shaft mount position driving a head pulley. That's position B. Most of our motor mounts are in position M2. So what we've done is optimize this for that particular position, making it smaller in overall size to save space for people who have space constraints. In addition to that, we've also put handles on our zero through five because the covers are light enough to be able to pick them up uh, off of the belt guard to inspect the belts. This makes it a lot easier to do this in the field. Our size five and above are heavier than you want to be picking up. So what we've done for our customers is we put an inspection port. So you take the bolts out of the inspection port, you lift it up, you take it off, you hang it on there so you don't drop it or lose it, and you can inspect and retention your V-belts without having to take the guard off. It has a lifting lug on top of those sizes, so if you do need to remove it, you can do so safely without having to compromise somebody's back in the process. In addition to optimizing the front cover, with the Torque Arm 2 belt guard, if you're not using a cooling fan, the belt guard is up against the face of the reducer, so you have no gaps to access. But if you put a cooling fan in there, you're going to need to move it away from the face. What we've done is we've made the side plates longer so someone can't get a hand in there. Oh, but what about the bottom? We've also put a protective guard on the bottom so somebody can't come in from underneath. We're trying to make sure that these are as safe as possible for our customers and the people working on these in the field. Third, the problem with most of is one of the things that you need to do in the belt guard, because they're generally made for wide range of positions, is you have to manually guard the motor slot. What we've done is include a sliding guard that you can adjust. It rides up and down with the motor. Once you get the V-belt tension in, you lift it where it's not on the motor shaft and you lock it into place. It's easily undone if you need to retension the belt. But what that does is it covers the slot so nobody can get their fingers in. Again, we're all about taking care of our customers safely at ABB.